Welcome to California Unearthed. I'm back on the Sacramento River Trail right in front of Middle Creek or the old town of Wa. So if you saw my History of Wa video, you know that I also filmed some wagon ruts that were down the old wagon road from 1884. And that's why I'm here today because they're doing a fish spawning project here on the Sacramento River that I just found out about. And I'm interested if they covered up those old wagon ruts when they fix the road. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. There's the old town of Wa. Remember that is private property, so don't trespass. Here's a sign for the fish spawning project. And they also are doing this down at Market Street here in Redding. They're putting 8,000 tons of gravel in the river down at Market Street. And here at Salt Creek, they're putting 21,000 tons of gravel to help promote spawning of the Chinook salmon and other species of fish. Here's the old wagon road from 1884. On the left is the old 1884 wagon road to Redding, and on the right is the Sacramento River Trail, which follows the 1883 railroad grade. Here's the same exact shot I just took a couple of weeks ago before the fish spawning project got started, and you can definitely see the improvements that they have made on the 1884 wagon road. So we're going to go down this old wagon road and check out if the wagon ruts from the 1880s and 1890s still exist or if they got covered up. And I'm not going to go down the road because I don't want to get run over by one of these trucks. So we're going to go down the river trail here and then uh, over to Salt Creek where the wagon ruts were located. All right, so let's go down here. It is a very busy day today with these trucks. Twenty-one thousand tons of gravel. That's a lot of gravel they're putting in the river. And like I said, it's to help the fish spawning. That road is looking really good. And it probably hasn't looked that good since the 1880s, 1890s. All right, I'm on the bridge here. at Salt Creek. And it looks like they've built a road over the creek down there. Question is, do they cover up those wagon ruts or not? I backtracked to the beginning of the wagon road just so I can go ahead and attempt to walk down the road and show you what it's like down here. I'm going to go as far as I can until I am run off the road by one of these trucks. Next stop, Salt Creek. The Fish Spawning Habitat Program is being funded by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation along with the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife Services in correlation with local, state, and federal organizations with one simple mission in mind. And that is to boost the population of the winter-run Chinook salmon during a critical time in the spawning cycle when the salmon seek safe and accessible spawning sites. Winter-run salmon are expected to spawn anywhere from April through June. I truly think that the fish spawning project is a fabulous project and it really needs to be done to increase population of Chinook salmon in the Sacramento River. Absolutely agree with it, but the historian in me is hoping that the process of getting the gravel to the river didn't disturb the historic wagon ruts that are here on the road. Hopefully they went around them if they knew about them at all. And that's the thing is that I don't believe that the powers to to be in these organizations realized or even knew that they had a piece of California and Shasta County history laying right in wake of their project or at least the road to their project because these wagon ruts are not a well-known historical fact here in Shasta County it was only here recently that Jeremy Tuggle and I discovered these wagon ruts when Jeremy found a photograph and description of them on Facebook luckily we both have come out and recorded these 
stories, and we have them documented now through video. They've done a really good job on skidding this road and adding gravel to it to make it passable for these trucks to deliver the gravel to the fish spawning sites just down the road. As I walk down the road, I can only imagine what this was like 130 plus years ago with a team of horses in the wagon or a stagecoach going down this road between Redding and Shasta, looking out on this landscape and pretty much seeing what we see today, minus a few trees, of course, because of the copper smelting during the early 90s. 1900s. But for the most part, what we see today, they were looking at 130 plus years ago while going down the same road. Sure enough, wagon ruts are gone. They have been covered up. Good thing I was able to get out here and film these before they were taken out. Covered up forever now. Like I said, at least we were able to film before they got covered up. That's sad to see. road looks good the old wagon road is looking good but at what cost and here's where the ruts used to be this is footage that I took a couple of months ago before the road was redone and I'm about at the same angle as I am right now and you will notice that the wagon ruts are coming up out of Salt Creek heading south towards Redding. Here's a split screen view of what the road looks like today on the left and what the road looked like just a couple of weeks ago before the wagon ruts were covered over. You can always pause the video to look at these two photographs a little bit better. If you would like to watch the full footage in its entirety, you can go back and watch the History of Wa video that I did. I will put a link in the description down below. All right, this is about as close as I can get here. There's Salt Creek, and there's where the wagon ruts are, but they are covered up now by the gravel from the road that they just built. Can't really go on, on that road. It's a little slick and slippery really wet and muddy out there so this is about as close as i'm gonna get unfortunately this is more footage that i took a few months ago obviously it's not the same angle that i was just standing at i was just standing just left on this little knoll here and back about 10 feet and then this is salt creek down below that we are looking north back towards middle creek and you see the wagon ruts right there that's Jeremy Tuggle. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and also his blog, Exploring Shasta County History. All right, then we'll turn around here. You can tell that you can't see the road very well in this footage. That's where that new road is going to look really nice going through here. And I think a lot of people are going to utilize this new road after the project is done. The wagon ruts have been covered up. 130 years of history covered up in just a day by gravel. Now, technically, they can be uncovered. It's just gravel. But the money they spent on building this road and the money they spent on building that bridge over Salt Creek, I highly doubt they will uncover those wagon ruts. And by talking to one of the gentlemen here, they didn't even know that there were wagon ruts here. Kind of sad. Let's take a look. Can't really see that bush is in the way. But they are dumping right over there. Progress covering up history. I'm kind of torn. I like to see that the road has been repaired. But on the other hand, I hate to see that they covered up Shasta County history, California history. Well, that's it for this short episode of the California Unearthed. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. 
and uh, we'll see you guys on next adventure. I know this was a short one, but like I said, I just happened upon this and wanted to check it out and see if these wagon ruts were covered up, and sure enough, they are. And like I said earlier, they could probably be uncovered, but the likelihood of that is very slim. It's a little sad to see. California Shasta County history covered up by gravel. We'll see you guys on next episode.